Hello, Blunt Truth doing part two with the SOG Trident Detanto chip. This is a typical New Englander winter get up. Down coat, you know, I prefer the ones that come down low, more insulation. Up here, in the, out just outside the White Mountains, it's cold, you know, like six months out of the year, below freezing at night. So, this is how we dress when we camp half the time up here. And uh, if I had a, you know, a fixed blade would work with gloves, right? You could use a fixed blade just fine. But if I had a fixed blade, I'm come pulling this up and pulling it out of the sheath like this. Kind of a pain in the ass, you know, kind of pull the coat way up. The way that I did it last year, which worked well and I like, I like this method, is clipping this thing on the outside of my pocket. And this clip works, it's very strong. Holds on really good, real strong. So it's fine on the outside of the pocket, just like that. And uh, I'll, I'll just carry it like this, around, walking around in the woods, snowshoeing, hiking, whatever I'm doing, camping, fishing, ice fishing. So it's right there. Now even with this heavy glove on, heavy coat and everything, I just reach up a little bit, pulls out easy, access it easy use it do whatever i gotta do great grip with the glove and it's just an awesome glove knife it really is unlock it easy close it up you know you can lock the blade shut if you if you're worried about stabbing your thigh with it on the outside here i haven't bothered but that's probably a good idea to lock it shut you know because you don't have to uh don't have to um, take your glove off to put it back on oh. I kind of missed it because I can't see what I'm doing. You know, clip it right there. That's how I do it. But you could just drop it in your pocket. But if it's in your pocket, of course, it's a little trouble getting it out with your glove on, right? So with it right there, I can access it real easy. And it works great with the glove. Whoop, I got it locked. So I unlocked the little thing. Clicks right out. Use it up. Great. Worked great chipping, chipping through ice too, I tell you. It's a really good, good, good little stabber, ice pick. So, let me get rid of this get up. And, uh, of course, you guys down in Georgia or out in California, or wherever the hell else you are where it's warm all the time, none of this means anything to you, but. If you're in northern Montana, North Dakota, probably means a lot to you. This would be a great knife for you guys. You're wearing gloves like eight months a year. Great glove knife. So let's um you now I have trouble testing a knife that's tano because uh doing the paracord it doesn't get down flat. So it tends not to it looks like it's not sharp, but well, yeah, see nice and clean. It's sharp. Can't always get right flat to get a nice cut of the paracord. I did that time though. Okay. Right to the cowboy. This is OS 8, by the way. I don't think I said that in the uh, tabletop. The OS 8, you know, I'm kind of spoiled. S30 V snob, but some OS 8s do really well. This one has done pretty good, you know. It's not as good as uh, S30 V, but holds up pretty good. Saga OS 8 is pretty good. Really pretty comfortable. Grip here. doesn't slice you know I'm putting a lot of effort in it's got that hollow grind three millimeter so it doesn't slice great it takes quite a bit of effort but it works 
comfortable grip. This jimping right here is kind of sharp. Sharper than the rest of it on the handle. And that kind of digs right in there a little right here. Across these two fingers. Not real bad though. Pretty good slicer. Let's uh, do some wood. Check real quick here for the hell of it. Still sharp. Clean. Sharp. Let's do some wood. Let's see, longer blade like this, I have a little bit, you get that leverage problem. I keep talking about. Can't really get right up near your hand. We I mean, can, but not using the whole length. Doing a great job on the wood so far. Doing good. Kind of getting a little dig in there. These. I don't really see a purpose for those. I don't think those should be there. The jimping right there. Really shouldn't even be there. In my opinion. Good, good on wood. It's like the only thing I've used it on is ice and wood. <laughs> a little bit of firewood prep in the winter and uh, chipping through the ice. I did do some fish with it, which was a bad idea. Don't clean fish with these things. You don't want blood getting in there. <laughs> Nightmare. Let's try a little pull. Good, good protection from going up on the blade. It's just the shape of it. No, not great. But I don't have a. I don't feel like I'm gonna go up there if I squeeze good. Strong, strong tip. I think. Try not to cut my jeans. <sighs> Let's see. So a little bit dull, you know. I can see a little fraying there. It's fraying away a bit. Just a tad bit. Oh, it still shaves real nice. Look at that. See that? So I didn't really lose any edge. A little tiny bit, I think. 
Good. I really like this knife. It's uh didn't didn't get any more play in it. it. Has a little tiny bit of wiggle. I don't think I mentioned the price. I think this was fifty seven dollars or sixty bucks, something like that, online. So a good deal. Well worth the money. Sixty bucks, you know. Good knife. I like it. Great if you gotta use a knife with gloves on. Really great for that. Sog. Ooh. There we go. Sog. Trident. Thank you.